What's up y'all, it's Project Photographer for another video and today people we're going into the city and we're taking some nice architecture photos. Um, I know for the most part I pretty much do only landscapes but I decided that I want to make a video of me doing architecture because I just want to shoot different stuff. I want to be able to get different types of niches of photography in here. Just I want people not to just show you guys my landscape photography but also the other avenues I'm interested in and a little while ago I decided to do some architecture photography just for the heck of it. I was thinking about doing street photography and it turned out to be architecture photography. This is kind of a new thing for me just to mess around, just something fun you know because with my landscape photography it's most time I'm very serious, most time I'm trying to get uh, go to a certain place and have a specific mission but with architecture photography I'm just gonna walk around and shoot whatever I see just because so hopefully uh, it turns out well, hopefully you get some great photos, but it's just for fun at the end of the day And I want you guys along for the ride to see kind of my journey and just photography as a whole Not just landscape photography, so let's go right to the video What's up y'all, we are now downtown. We're about to take some amazing architecture photos. Uh, I'm shooting everything on a 24 millimeter lens, the Z lens for the Nikon Z system. It's a great lens, I've shot with it before and uh, hopefully get some amazing landscape or architecture photos this time. I kind of have an idea of what I want to shoot. I kind of use my landscape photography background to kind of shape the way I shoot these architecture photos. So yeah, this is the new form of uh, photography that I haven't dabbled in too, too much. I'm just gonna, have some fun with it and just experiment around just to have fun with it you know because i mean that's what photography is all about and i'm just trying to show what i see in the world through a camera lens so yeah let's go ahead and shoot some amazing architecture photos I'm putting guys on my gopro view so you guys can go ahead and see that so let's get right to it what's up y'all right now behind the camera behind the scenes and y'all are on top of my gopro so you guys can get a first person point of view of what i'm shooting so yeah, we're gonna take in our first photo here. A lot of the photos are gonna seem very underexposed. And the main reason for that is so I don't lose any of the highlight detail in the sky. It was very easy to lose it. And if I shoot at around ISO 50, I should be able to retain a lot of that shadow detail as well. That's why I'm uh, shooting very underexposed. Um, so yeah, here I edited this one. As you can see, I'm not gonna edit all of them. Only edit a few of them, mainly because I'm not gonna be using all of them for myself personally. Um, this is a just for fun, just to go out and shoot, have a good time. Um, and this is kind of a different kind of scene from my usual uh, landscape stuff. Uh, I haven't been shooting a lot of landscapes lately. I only, I last one I shot was like maybe the last month. But uh, architecture is a good way to just get out of my comfort zone, do things that are different. And you guys get to see a little bit of San Francisco, which is a great place to do architecture photos, especially here because very diverse in terms of architecture. Uh, there's a lot of it. And there's different parts of the city that I really like, so. Yeah, when I'm, when I'm editing this, uh, I just wanted to tell you guys that like the lighting here today was not that good. Uh, mainly because it was just really overcast and you can see a lot through the photos. Uh, but I think I edited them pretty decently. A lot of these were quick edits. So you guys are going to tell that there wasn't necessarily like too, too much going on. Um, I use a lot of the cool tones. I use it for architecture. I switch between like warmer versus cool. Um, but I choose a lot of the cool tones for this, I mean, because the sky is so overcast. Warm just would not make sense. What I like to do when I'm going out and shooting architecture is I just like to walk around randomly and just whatever I see I shoot, I have no really sense of direction. I think it's one of the best ways to actually shoot photos in general because like if you have a very uh, like guided sense of direction where you're gonna go shoot and stuff, you might not run into things that might catch your eye more. You might not just get more interesting subject matter. like. Just walking around aimlessly, you're not really having a uh, specific goal in mind, but you're just kind of doing whatever your eye sees. And I think that's a great part of photography, is just being able to shoot what your eye sees and what you naturally gravitate towards. So yeah, a lot of this I already shot already, so I was like, I don't know how I really feel about reshooting it, but when I came back from this shoot, I realized I had a lot of different photos and I actually went to a lot of different places that I wouldn't normally go to. Um, but it's so it's nice to really get out there and just do different things. And it's really nice, especially for architecture photography. I'm gonna make a whole video about how uh, I think people should go out and shoot niches that are different from what they normally shoot. Um, these, this, this next series of photos is probably my favorite uh, that I shot the entire day. 
kind of having the uh, that building in the background, kind of how using the uh, leaves to shape it. It was kind of hard with the 24 mil, especially since you know uh, the subject so far away. But I think I make it work here. Um, kind of just bringing out the building really, because I don't, you don't really need to retain too much shadow uh, detail, just because you just kind of want to blow it out. That's especially what I'm going for. All right, so this what I'm here doing here is I want to focus stack. I don't know if y'all know what it is. So I'm taking pretty much three ex uh, different exposures at three different points of focus. So usually you want to have one in the foreground, one in the middle ground, and one in the background. And then you just shoot all three of them and then you throw it into post. Uh, this is mainly a landscape photography technique used and I want to try it out here just to see how it is. It's kind of a ghetto one because I don't have a tripod or anything. Um, but it's a very good technique, if, especially if you use a lot of foreground elements. You don't want to use a aperture like f13 or above. So you resort to shooting at f8, but rather just shooting multiple exposures, throwing it to post, getting one nice clean file. If you guys want me to show you how to do focus stacking, I can definitely do that. Yeah, we're just gonna keep on going here and just shooting random stuff. As you can see, like I didn't edit that one. I don't edit a lot of these, but you're just getting different things, and that's, that's the whole point. You just walk around, have fun with it. That's the main thing with photography. I think people get too serious or too like uptight about their work. They forget what the photography is all really all about what you see through a lens and just really having fun with it and something I really need to get back to doing because landscape photography and just wanting to make photography into a lifestyle has really kind of taken a toll in the sense that I've been able to shoot just random things, just things that catch my eye. So architecture photography is a good way to do it because it's also incorporating a lot of my landscape photography skills into it, which is a good way to keep that up as well. And it's like, uh, if you if I took what I learned from landscape photography and put it into here, it also helped me really, um, it also was very easy going to the niche of photography, especially because I already know it. So yeah, just getting different perspectives, different angles. Uh, but with architectural photography, I like to exaggerate things. Well, not say exaggerate, but um, give a point of view that makes them look as colossal as they are in terms of the buildings. And um, as you can see, the buildings are very, very large. But it's very hard to do that when you have a 24 mil. So I got to get real up close and personal. And usually with like 24 mil, I think it's perfect for architecture photography, especially because it gets a lot in the frame, but it doesn't get too much to the point where it's distorted and weird. So it's a great balance. I, I really love this lens. Um, it's a very good lens, a Z lens for the system. Um, so I really kind of, this is kind of to be a short shoot. I didn't really uh, shoot for a really long time, but I thought it was an appropriate amount of time uh, just to get out there, get some fresh air and just kind of shoot around, you know? Now, as you can see, like the sky is starting to clear up. Uh, I wish I had that light a little bit later or a little bit before, um, but it's all good. Um, I just try out different stuff. Like I see this kind of building. I kind of like, that's a symmetry, but like three, three kind of point of view. Um, but I don't necessarily think it works. That's why I didn't really edit it at all. Um, this might be one of my favorite photos that I took today. I uh, just building right here. It's kind of like a nice cross section between two different uh, like avenues. And I really like that edit actually. It's really clean. Um, the files that come out of this Nikon are insane. So yeah, these are two photos that I came back with that I really, really liked. Um, the first one is the obviously the last one that you just saw me take uh, with the two avenues. Um, I feel like these are very simple edits, but they're very, they're, they're very good. I, and I, I really like them, especially because it brings a lot of the micro contrast out of the image. And it kind of makes specific, the specific things I want to pop, not actually exposing for the whole image, but like when you look at the image on your left, that building really stands out because it has a very nice reflection. All of the lines kind of lead that way. It doesn't necessarily need to lead exactly to that building, but kind of guides your eyes in a direction in terms of on the floor. Um, and the light that hits the right side of the building is very nice, which makes it stand out even more. Um, especially on the right hand side, I like the rocks uh, really when I focus stack. Um, I'm able to not, not really I'm able to get everything in focus and at a good aperture. I shot at f8 for everything. I think, uh, yeah, these are the two photos I really like. Uh, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below. Let me know what y'all thought was your favorite photo. And uh, yeah, till the next time, let's get back to the video. And we are done shooting for today. Um, I know it's not too much architecture photography, but it's just a little something uh, just to come out here, get some nice fresh air in the city. I haven't been here in a while, so it's just gonna be. You know, I think from here, I'm just going to probably go get a step up ring for my filter system. Um, I bought a new lens for my landscape photography. So I am going to go get a filter ring so I can attach 72 millimeter filter threads 
or filters to a uh, I think 52 millimeter filter thread so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I think I'm just gonna head out from here so I know it's not too much shooting but just a little something for you guys something to that I enjoy doing just for just for fun you know it's nothing too serious so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it let me know what y'all think about this type of format where I video myself going out and shooting and stuff just let me know how what y'all think about it and yeah that's pretty much it for today's episode not too much nothing too crazy so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it um like comment subscribe let me know what you think of this and uh see you guys in the next one